I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I am showing you different types of cataracts through a slit lamp examination technique called retro illumination. Observe the slit beam, it is coaxial. The viewing and illuminating columns are in same plane and slit beam is at the edge of the pupil. Look how beautifully the posterior subcapsular opacities are highlighted against the fundal reflex, red reflex. Once again, retro illumination as the name suggests. Retro means back or behind and illumination means light. So how media opacities are highlighted by light coming from behind the retina or back of the retina. It is performed by aligning the light beam nearly parallel with examiner's view and rotating the light so it shines through the edge of the pupil. Now look at this another patient with an insect, insect like appearance on the retro illumination. It's also a case of posterior subcapsular cataract and it is well delineated by retro illumination so it's a simple and easy technique to master and can provide well very valuable information regarding pathologies the shapes of the cataracts the structure behind is used as a mirror to illuminate the part of the eye in question now in third patient you can clearly see crystals like opacities are arranged in a star shaped pattern so it's a star shaped cataract on retro illumination you can see that the beam is on the edge of the pupil half of the slit is falling on the iris and half passing through and you can see that the star shaped cataract is illuminated retro illumination is best done under dim room light in a dilated pupil and it highlights opacities in the lens like cortical cataract, focal traumatic cataract, posterior subcapsular cataracts like those in this video, polar cataracts, anterior and posterior capsular cataracts and it also highlights corneal pathologies like corneal edema, stroite, keratopathy, corneal gatata, beaten metal appearance in corneal gatata, and foreign body track in the cornea. Now, here you can see. An oblique illumination a posterior subcapsular cataract but when retro illumination is performed you can see this wine glass like posterior subcapsular cataract So how beautifully these opacities are highlighted on a retro illumination technique. Retro illumination is also done to locate and check the patency of peripheral iridotomy in angle closure glaucoma and ACIOL cases, corneal vascularization, ghost vessel tracks in the cornea can also be highlighted 
just look at this case of posterior subcapsular cataract and now in another patient you can see just a bug or insect like posterior subcapsular cataract you can see that the linear tracks arise from the central round opacity 360 degree and you can see that the slit is placed on the pupil edge so that's how you perform retro illumination slit lamp technique i hope after watching this video you will be able to perform it easily thank you